You're going to start by applying the white base to your entire face. Your best bet is to use some costume makeup or paint. I got this one from a local party store along with some makeup sponges to apply. As you can tell, the sponge wasn't working for me at all. Turns out that your finger works much better. Don't forget to also apply the base to your ears as well because they will most likely be visible for most of the night. Don't forget to do your lips too. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm using my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in the color of charcoal. You're going to start by outlining your natural eye socket to create the sunken eyes. Feel free to go bigger if you have smaller sockets, or smaller if you just look too big. It's really up to you, you can play with it to create whatever look you like. Now I am taking a black costume makeup to use as a base for filling in the eyes. Any imperfections can be easily covered up by more white makeup. Now we are going to make the eyes more rich in color. I'm using the same gel liner as before, using small strokes to get the best color payoff. eyes as dark as possible so I'm taking a very pigmented eyeliner to line my eyes and get rid of any flesh tones left over. This particular one is L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Eyeliner Pencil in Carbon Black. You can also apply mascara to make your eyes even darker.
going back in with the gel liner, it's time to create the nose, or lack thereof. All you need to do is draw a small V in the center of your nose, then pull it down around the edges of your nose to join to the opposite side. That might have sounded confusing, so hopefully the video will explain it a little bit better. Then you are just going to fill in the nose the same way you did to the eyes. This next part is totally complicated and I really messed up one side of it completely. The object is to create the jaw bones but I can never nail it. So just try your best, this doesn't have to be that complicated. I don't even really know how to explain it, so the best you can do is just try to follow along. It might help to use some reference pictures. Once you've accomplished that, you can start to fill it in as we have been doing all along. This side turned out to be a triangle somehow. Try to avoid that. It's the perfect example of what not to do. Okay, moving on. Next is the mouth. Start at the center of your lips and draw little lines with your liner to create the teeth. Continue past your lips and onto your cheeks until you reach the bottom jaw piece. Repeat on both sides and on top and bottom. At the end of each of the lines, you need to create a tiny V-shape. This will hopefully give the teeth some shape. Try smudging the V's a little bit so they aren't quite harsh lines. Take your black gel liner again and create one solid line from one end of the mouth to the other. Now we are going to connect two to three teeth on each side of the jawline by creating a light line going from the bottom jaw to the tooth. Smudge these lines as well.
The final step is to add some cracks to the skull. I'm just placing them randomly and you're done. necessary at the end of the makeup you can go back in with the white and cover up any spots that seem to be showing through. It also might be good to use a white powder at the beginning or even cover down to your neck. Moving on to wig and the outfit. 